Hello, hi everyone. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel, My Intuition. Welcome back to my class series on Biology for Engineers, 21 BE 45. Myself, Dr. Prasad P. Prasad Pudilam. Uh, continuing uh, on the classes on biomolecules and their applications. Uh, proteins. Uh, previous two classes, 1.1, 1.2, I covered already. It is there in my YouTube channel, uh, My Intuition. You can watch it. Uh, uh, proteins. Proteins are uh, very large complex molecules which are made up of chains of smaller building blocks called amino acids play a vital role in the structural function and regulations of cell tissues and organs. We have already uh, studied about the basics of uh, protein but still giving some of the functions of protein. Uh, they have very different uh, or very wide variety of functions. Uh, doing in our body which includes uh, catalyzing a chemical reaction in our body for example if you say give one some of the example no need to buy heart all of this just for information to get an idea to brush up our uh, knowledge about protein and giving it uh, otherwise you can say catalyzing chemical reaction transporting molecules uh, then providing a uh, mechanical support uh, then uh, providing uh, regulating cell behavior then uh, continuously uh, giving immune response uh, hormone regulations muscle contraction etc so these are given just to just to in case of uh, get given example if catalyzing chemical reaction and confusion is there we can take uh, say amylase amylase it is an enzyme enzymes are proteins only enzymes which break down uh, starch into simple sugar like glucose and maltose which is found in our saliva and pancreatic juice saliva means it is there in our mouth only that liquid formula that is saliva which will break down a starch into simple sugar that way when we eat uh, uh, starch immediately we feel some sweet taste in our tongue itself that indicates that it is um, already broke into glucose or maltose but as well as it is there in our pancreatic juice lipase lipase is an enzyme which breaks down fat into fatty acid and glycerol it is found in the pancreas and uh, the small intestine Catalase, catalase which is an enzyme which convert hydrogen peroxide into water and uh, oxygen found in our most of uh, cells of the body. Uh, trypsin, uh, it is an enzyme which break down uh, protein into smaller peptides. It produces in the pancreas, it uh, produced in the pancreas and released into small intestine. ATP synthesis, uh, an enzyme which catalyzes the synthesis of uh, adenosine triphosphate ATP. Uh, from the ADP that is adenosine diphosphate and phosphate it is found in the mitochondria of the cell the second function which is important one that is transporting the molecules so like hemoglobin uh, hemoglobin uh, it is a protein found in our uh, blood uh, red blood cells to transport oxygen from the lungs when uh, we breathe the air go to the lung from the lung the hemoglobin present in the red it takes that oxygen to entire body our body all cells say to takes the gets the uh, oxygen a fraction of second then the each our body cell uh, it will take that oxygen immediately it releases the carbon dioxide come back uh, and we exhale okay so uh, when we do that run how much work is happening in our body that you can imagine okay so a uh, hey, fast transportation system network system is the bloodstream system it works uh, it takes the oxygen uh, then uh, it takes out the carbon dioxide albumin albumin is a protein uh, which is found in the uh, blood plasma helps for transport of various substances such as hormones fatty acid and the drugs throughout the body uh, transferrin it is a protein uh, the name is given to such protein uh, which uh, transport iron in the blood from the site of uh, absorption to in the gut to the uh, bone marrow liver and other tissue that uh, require it uh, that is uh, transferring uh, kgf uh, uh, collar uh, that is gold mine not iron mine so okay, sorry sorry okay so uh, iron uh, it is transported imagine like uh, a person uh, holding an uh, iron rod and going the same type of work uh, transferring is doing in our body not iron rod the iron ip molecules uh, which is needed for our body uh, which we call as the heme heme the hemoglobin name is also because uh, it contains of uh, more iron content is there okay uh, the next one uh, apolipoproteins apocalyptos okay apolipoproteins uh, they are family of protein that transport lipids fat in the 
blood stream example include uh, apo a apo b apo e ferritin ferritin it is a protein uh, that stores iron uh, in a non toxic form in the liver clean and bone marrow blood transporters blood transporters are family of proteins that transport glucose and other sugar across the cell membranes uh, where i reached uh, example include uh, glut 1 and glut 4 uh, providing mechanical support uh, like collagen collagen is a protein uh, uh, which is a structural protein uh, which provide the tissue the skin uh, the tendons uh, cartilage bone teeth etc teeth these teeth only these are all uh, formed uh, or uh, uh, these are all uh, made up of the proteins okay some form color ஆக்டினோசின்ஸ் <laughs> actin and myosin are the protein which are involved in muscle contraction and provide the mechanical force required to for the movement uh, tubulin is a protein which forms the structural basis of microtubules provides support to cells and are involved in various cellular processes such as cell division and intracellular transport uh, laminin it is a protein which forms a part of the extracellular matrix and provides structural support to cells in tissues such as skin muscles and uh, organs and uh, another function that is uh, regulating uh, cell behavior that is the four functions of proteins i am discussing here receptor proteins uh, are some of the protein uh, which uh, trigger uh, cellular response such as change in gene expression or activation of an intracellular signaling pathway etc uh, enzymes uh, enzymes are the protein which catalyzes a particular chemical reaction in our body which involved regulating the cell behavior example kinases phosphates phosphatases which regulate the protein phosphorylation and dephosphorylation respectively cytoskeleton proteins uh, such as actin and tubulin play a critical role in regulating cell shape movement and division transcription factors uh, to bind uh, dna uh, to regulate the gene expression uh, they play a critical role in regulating cellular uh, differentiation uh, profile uh, profile uh, proliferation uh, and uh, ap- uh, apoptosis okay some of the terms uh, we don't want to worry about that just for uh, your reference i collected the information and given here i'm also not so expert in uh, this biology terms uh, then adhesion proteins adhesion proteins are proteins that are involved in cell to cell and cell to matrix adhesion play a critical role in collecting cell behavior such as cell migration tissue development wound healing etc ion channels which makes the uh, the membrane for the movement of ions uh, the excitability and the communication possibilities okay so these examples which i gave that is only to make you uh, realize that uh, uh, there are uh, different functions of protein that you should know that they have catalyzing chemical reaction they have uh, transporting molecules uh, they are providing a uh, mechanical support to our body they are regulating our uh, behavior cell behavior they are regulating it uh, as well as they produces immune response fast immune response uh, they regulate the hormones that we generate uh, hormones are generated based on our uh, reaction uh, what we face uh, our uh, emotions are uh, because of the hormones and the uh, muscle contraction uh, when we move our hand body movement uh, the muscles are getting contracted and uh, expanded um, that is also controlled by the proteins only okay so these functions different functions at a time different functions uh, different proteins uh, that is based on the number of or sequence of the amino acid which is uh, pro- uh, produced or which is present in them okay so these different uh, amino acids are controlled 
the amino acid are building blocks uh, they are made into protein they are combined and made into protein by our uh, dna when it gives instruction rna take the instruction just like when we want to get some work done we will write that uh, this has to be done and we pass the message to the people who are expert or who are uh, doing that the same way our dna molecule uh, rna will uh, write it in rna RNA will take the copy, it come out and uh, it will uh, uh, make the amino acid to combine in such a way that uh, it produces the particular protein which is needed for the function. Okay, so uh, feels very complicated but our body does it in a very simplified manner. Okay, very easily it will do. There are 20 different types of amino acid uh, which are uh, uh, and the specific sequence of amino acid in the protein determines its unique structure as well as the function. Proteins are synthesized by cells from the genetic information encoded in the DNA. Okay, that only I'm telling, I just said uh, it is the DNA which uh, gives the information. And the process, uh, it is transcribed into uh, RNA molecule which we call as the messenger RNA. Then the messenger RNA, uh, that, that means from the DNA, a, a, a strand it came out, it will come out, uh, it will um, form a, a, a layer that we call as a RNA which have that uh, uh, information which is needed based on the, uh, the uh, information given by the RNA DNA or information required or encoded by DNA this will combine um, the amino acids and produces the protein and uh, these proteins uh, play a biological uh, critical role in biological process all this. So understanding and the and functional protein is therefore a major focus of biomedical research. People are uh, focused uh, on uh, biotechnology or biomedical research or biology research. They are much worried about that. We are engineers. We are not much worried about but we should know what they are doing. So that whenever we need we can take their help. Whenever they need we can help them. So this is a mutual understanding between a biologist or biotechnologist and other engineers. That's why this subject, particular subject is introduced to you, for, to the other uh, 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 branches of uh, engineering. You should know what are the things, at least idea, the words you should uh, remember. Okay, so protein as a food. Uh, proteins are essential nutrients which provide the body with amino acid, which are the building blocks of the body's tissue. Proteins are found in many different foods including meat, poultry, fish, uh, beans, uh, tofu, eggs, uh, tofu is a uh, protein which is made up. Okay. Uh, proteins are a vital components of healthy diet. They help to build uh, and repair tissues, support immune function, regulate various metabolic process. Body also use protein uh, as a source of energy when carbohydrates and fats are not available, then they use the protein only. The quality of protein food determines by the type of, type of amino acid, okay. okay, protein rich food we have to eat, there are a complete and incomplete protein sources uh, that we have to we make it uh, complete uh, for that uh, those who are uh, vegetarians uh, for them uh, mainly because uh, the non-vegetarians uh, what are food they eat they are getting almost the complete uh, protein that required, the said uh, vegetarians uh, they are not getting a complete protein. Therefore, to supply that, uh, new things are produced like uh, whey protein. Uh, it's a type of protein derived from a uh, uh, liquid that separates from milk during the cheese making process. It's a complete protein. All the essential amino acid required for our body it is present there. Therefore, it is used widely used as a dietary supplement by athletes or uh, bodybuilders or people who are uh, lack of protein, feel like lack of protein. It is commonly, we cannot feel as such that I lack protein. It is an, a health expert. A doctor has to say whether we lack protein or not. Everybody cannot decide that I, need, I lack a little bit protein, go purchase the protein and eat. That will be, it will not be good, not advisable. Okay, so if you lack protein, then you have to get advice from the uh, health professionals. Okay, so these V proteins, uh, uh, proteins are added to smoothies, shakes uh, and other beverages. It's also available in the powder form of uh, to add to be mixed with other foods and beverages. 
So compared to other type of proteins, whey protein is rapidly absorbed by the body and is uh, high in the branched chain amino acids which are very essential for the muscle growth and repair. So it is a good source of essential nutrients like calcium, potassium, vitamin B2, B12 etc. Hmm. But we have to be very careful when we purchase it uh, because it depends upon the manufacturer, the one who packing it or making it. They may add extra sugar, artificial sweeteners and other ingredients which are harmful to health. Therefore, uh, you have to read the ingredients list before purchasing it. Not say that if anybody say that it contains B protein, don't simply purchase and consume it. Then giving good health support, it may destroy your health. So be careful with that also. So use of whey protein as food. Uh, commonly cow's milk is commonly used as the food supplement for, to prepare the whey protein. It is used for as a sport nutrition. It is used for weight management. It is used in the health promotion. It is used as a replacement of meal. Okay, so these are all the different uh, uses of uh, whey protein and from where it is uh, produced. Uh, it is also important to, to, to talk to the health professional, healthcare professional, so called the doctors, uh, before starting to use uh, whey protein, especially when one have any medical conditions or uh, allergies are there. Then meat analogous of protein. Uh, meat analogous, uh, which is substitute the meat uh, as a meat alternative, plant based food designed to mimic the taste the texture as well as appearance of meat okay not only uh, body supplement it also look like meat it also have the same texture also having the same taste so all these are considered as a meat analogous of protein and some examples okay so you understood what it is some examples i'm giving uh, tofu tofu is one of the example temp it's another uh, all soya bean uh, based soybean uh, based uh, uh, product uh, sitana then uh, veggie so okay images i collected so this is uh, the tofu this is the temp this is the sitana this is the veggie burger uh, which is added mixed with the bun in between that of bun with the vegetables uh, this is the ball meat meatless meat balls and these are the uh, plant based uh, sausages okay so they look like meat but they are not meat you can uh, uh, those who think that um, uh, i should eat meat only if i if, if the texture the taste is there then only i'll eat then uh, it is a alternative uh, plant based meat okay then plant based proteins plant based proteins are proteins which are derived from plant sources such as legumes grains nuts and seeds yeah. they become popular as alternative to animal based protein it's uh, there because uh, some of the benefits like sustainability uh, they are nutrient uh, rich they are very versatile they are uh, hypoallergic they are having cost effectiveness and some of the examples are soy protein, pea protein, lentil protein, chickpea protein, hemp protein etc. Uses Okay, so uses of uh, plant based protein, they are used as a dietary supplement, as a food product, as a health and uh, wellness product and uh, vegetarian and uh, vegan diets. Uh, fitness and sport nutrients etc so it is important to choose a high quality plant based protein product consult a healthcare professional before starting a continuous use uh, once the tasting and all is okay but continuously if you are using better to consult a health professional therefore it is also important uh, to check the requirement whether it is required or not all those you have to consider then only you consume it so if you want this uh, note a pdf note you have to contact me at uh, whatsapp number 797-505-4865 you have to pay me one rupee uh, i'll tell which account you have to pay that one rupee so once again 
I thank you for uh, watching my YouTube channel through this video through my YouTube channel, my intuition. Please do subscribe, don't forget. Then uh, forward this video to other your friends. Tell them to request them to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you subscribe, if I get more views, I'll be very happy. You know why. Uh, thank you very much once again. I'm signing out, Dr. Prasad.